Wait, let's get it going. Wait till next week. Alright, guys. Drake. Drake. Was it hard not to want to throw it deep to Tez every time he got out there? Oh, no, I wouldn't say that. I just kind of want to get him in the groove. Um, he's a you know, great player. Obviously, you know, great deep threat. You know, I missed him that one time. Um, you know, down towards the student section end zone. Wish I had that back, but stuff happens. You know, I feel like you know, the crowd would have erupted, but at the same time, I'm um, just glad to see him out there. You know, what a great kid, what a great story. Um, he's going to make some big time plays for us. Well, that not the touchdown, but the long play to Nate that he, I guess, got stopped with the one. Tez was also open there. Was that maybe seeing the effect of Tez being out there, the way you guys are going to be defended a little bit differently? Yeah. No, he's going to do a lot. He's going to do a lot for the other guys, and, um, you know, if they leave him one on one, they're going to they're going pay. So, uh, just like you said, I think, I think Tez was open on that one, too. Um, just one of those things where, you know, I saw a defender get my eyes, got, got, got his eyes on me, and it was kind of retreating toward, towards Tez, but Tez is going to run by him anyway. So, could have went either one, and, um, you know, just happened to, you know, feel like Nate um, was, you know, screaming down the field open, so they're both over. So, I feel like, you know. During the team meeting on Thursday, how surprised were you to learn that Tez was being made eligible? Uh, yeah, just um, kind of Jeremy sent it out, and, uh, you know, just, just, you know, just stoked. You know, one of those things that, you know, you felt like it, you know, it's finally happened. Um, it felt like, you know, um, just a great feeling, great feeling as a team. Um, you know, I, I wish I would have done. I was a captain today. You know, I wish I would have had Tez out there. Uh, I thought about it, but I think it was a little too late before I took Coach Brown. But, um, no, it's, it's, it does wonders for the football team. I think we showed it out there today um, with a big statement win. And, uh, you know, we, we got some good things going, so we've got to keep it going. Yeah, well, I, I sat down with Ted after um, after practice on Thursday in the locker room, and uh, you know he was saying, I think you know this guy a chance to be today, um, and just you know just kind of gave me a little uh, a little teaser into it. Um, then you really didn't know it was true. I feel like you know, I've heard that a couple times along the way. You know, today we're gonna you know give it our all and, and get it one last shot, and uh, you know kind of Jer Jeremy said the team works out and sent a text to Tez, and you know from there on. You know, it's go time. Back to football in Syracuse and win a football game. Yeah, Drake, a lot of teams are losing guys as they go through the season. You guys were going pretty well, and you're getting some. You got Nate in the third game, you get Tez now. Yeah. It's kind of intriguing to think of what you guys can do when everybody's too, uh, healthy and exactly. full complement of everybody. Yeah, it's huge after the bye week, too. You know, Willie came back, um, you know, helped us run the football tonight. And, uh, you know, those guys up front worked their butts off. You know, credit to those guys. How about the defense? Um, how about Ben Kieran with the, with the run of the night? Um, just you know, just, just it's fun out there. You know, just it's it's you know, you, you get nervous and you know you get a little bit you know amped up for games and you go out there and it's, you know, you're having a blast. So just looking forward to the next one. Did you see his face mask? Yeah, he was in there. Um, he was in there, kind of kind of boasting about it, and everybody saying, everybody come to my locker, look at my face mask. So, <laughs> Jay, what was what was your perspective on Kobe Basor's uh, touchdown? Double tapped it pretty much with the left hand and, and yeah, and, and, golly, um, you know he saved me. Um, you know what a play. Uh, I don't know if it should be on Sports Center, but I'm definitely, I'm sure it will be. Um, he's, you know, that's just this thing of you know just playing. You know, multiple. He's a great athlete. You know, we see him, you know, playing basketball with him and you know in Woodland Gym or you know going out there and just just making plays. And he saved my butt there. Um, and they gave another cover zero look and they dropped the guy out and you know he made he shook the defender and ended up making one hand snag and. You know, the rest is history. I'm so, glad I didn't get you know hawked down. I feel like we got tackled at the inside the five on passes like 15 times this year. So you said you played basketball against. What's his game like? What's his, what's his yeah, game? no, he can shoot a little bit. He's more of a driver. Um, he's got balance. He can dunk it. Um, he's a lefty, obviously. I don't know if y'all know that, but um, he's a lefty and um, he's an underrated shooter. But no, he get down, play some good defense, he's just like a receiver would play. So. Yeah, Coach Christian, you know, first former season, the one that works with the quarterbacks, and obviously, you know, Coach Montecino is the one on the defense side. But um, Coach Christian has done an unbelievable job. Um, one of the biggest things, you know, kind of from two years ago um, and, and last year with Coach Longo, you know, our individual drill with Coach Christian, um, it's one of the, our most, you know, intense periods of, of practice, you know, every day, you know, of the week. You know, I feel like, you know, I'm winded more in, in our individual, you know, going through drills with Coach Christian than, you know, I am at any other point in practice. So um, he works us, and um, you know, we'll go back and, and – uh, Watch individual, and we're watching Tom Brady and Peyton Manning do the same drills. So uh, it's just, you know, it's a blessing to have him in the room and just bouncing off ideas, you know, with Coach Lindsey and Coach Kitchens in there too, you know, NFL guy. So got a lot of good things going. Just got to find, you know, ways to, you know, keep scoring points. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me you're getting winded in individual drills? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, he's Ruby. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd like to see you go out there and do it, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. No, hey, come out to practice. Yeah, you'll see. Yeah, come out. What's it like, you know, you were talking about the defense showing up tonight. Do you feel like you've got a unit this year that's holding teams specifically tonight? The seven points have been pretty stout for years. Does that make you play a little bit more freer out there than in comparison to last year when it almost felt like you had to go out and win games late almost every night? No, I think um, it just keeps on, you know, I keep kind of putting the pressure on us to keep scoring and keep making that league bigger. Um, they're doing a great job. Um, I feel like. You know, it's one of those things when they get a good stop or they get a three and out and you don't score if like you're kind of letting them down. So um, I, I, it's a good point about playing freer um, at the same time knowing that they got no points on the board. But at the same time, you know, you kind of feel like um, after the Huzzy interception, I think we went down there and me and Corey, you know, messed up under center snap on, on a QB sneak and that can't happen. So uh, got some things to work on, but also at the same time, defense is playing great. You know, Huzzy and the guys up front get after it. And I've said this a thousand times, you know, sour or uh, Said and power are the best linebacker duo in the nation, so they make, make, they're making plays all night. Drake, is your hand okay? It looked like it might have gotten hit on the sideline catch with Ted. Yes, how about that catch, Gally? That's just a glimpse of what he can do. Um, yeah, just one of those things, it happens you know, throughout the games. Um, usually once or twice, you know, three times a season, you, you fall through, hits a helmet, and, uh, and I'm glad it's okay. So, Drake, appreciate it for asking. Uh, appreciate it for asking, man. <laughs> Drake, obviously, you know what Tess can do in terms of being a deep threat, like on the field and what he brings. To the, the abilities he brings to the offense, but just sort of like the joy that has come about the exactly. last couple of days with him getting eligible. And I mean, it, it feels like a boost around here to a team that was already playing really well. Like, have you felt, I don't know, some of that joy? And has it in any way sort of re energized you in a way, just, just knowing how much it means to him? And yeah, as, as I told him out there in the huddle one time, you know, I think late in the either third quarter or fourth quarter, you know, I just said, just glad to have you out here. You know, it's a blast. And, you know, he brings so much joy to this team. and. Like I said, he's he's been on the sidelines at games where he hasn't been eligible, putting a smile on his face. You know, he's still getting chance about free Tez, and he's still getting the loudest cheer. Um, you know, I'm I'm happy for that loudest cheer over whether you know it's my name on the board or his name. You know, you hear you know a big roar. So just happy to have him out there and just speak to the people that Coach Brown brings in this program. You know, these kids. You know, I'd, you know, I'd let you know anybody you know come in and. Um, Hang out with my mom at dinner. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I got no daughters or anything. So, uh, no, but. Um. Did, you have, did you have a hard choice on the throat? The throat, Nate was open, Tez was open on the Yeah. Um, did you have a hard choice? Tez had his hands up. Like, yeah, it, it's, it's, I probably should have thrown Tez, but at the same time, they're both open. So, I definitely should have thrown Tez, but hey, it happens. You know, it's one of those things where, you know, guys are coming at you, and um, it's one of those split decisions. You know, I got the highs and the, the backside safety who kind of looked at, he saw me um, kind of after the fake, and I thought he was making a retreat to Tez, but like I said, Tez is still going to run by him, so that's it. All right. Appreciate